Hello and welcome to LMK Studios. Today in the studios we have with us Mr. Brian M. Rohan, who is here to talk to us a little bit about the new ASTM standard on cured in place manhole rehabilitation. Hello Mr. Rohan, would you like to begin by telling us a little bit about yourself? Okay, I'm uh, Brian M. Rohan, PE from Merrick, New York. I'm an engineer with Rohan Engineering PC, a civil and environmental engineering firm in the state of New York. So what was the need to develop a manhole standard? I've uh, been involved with ASTM uh, developing standards since 1992. I was involved as chairman on approximately six of the uh, trenchless rehabilitation standards for pipe rehab. I feel it's necessary to have one for the manhole because that is an integral part of the infrastructure and currently there is not. ASTM is a wonderful organization. It does give guidelines on material, installation practices and testing that's necessary for these products. And why can't the existing ASTM standards on cured in place pipe be used on manhole rehabilitation? Well, they're different structures. What you have with uh, pipe rehabilitation is a uh, more or less a consistency in the diameter of the pipe and it's a horizontal structure. Whereas with a manhole structure there's um, differences in the diameters of the structure itself. You have a diameter at the frame, a diameter at the corbel, and a diameter at the barrel. And in addition to that it's a vertical structure rather than horizontal so you'll have different loadings on it. And primarily for the design of the wall thickness on the manhole, we will be using this uh, as what we call a partially deteriorated host condition, whereby the structure itself is taking most of the dead and live loads, and we design the thickness of the wall based upon hydraulics, the groundwater pressure. Now, what is the new ASTM standard based on? Um, the technology has been around quite a while. Um, as you know, in an uh, infrastructure system, you have the pipe and you have the laterals, and uh, both of those components have ASTM standards. The rehabilitation of the manhole is like the last leg that has to be done for a pipe infrastructure system. The um, uh, ASTM itself uh, is utilizing existing technology. We're having input. We have had just our first ballot and we have wonderful input from consultants, from other manufacturers, and from end users, and they will be the, the bulk of the people that will be developing the standard. Mr. Rohan, how do you think having a cured in place manhole rehabilitation standard benefit the trenchless rehabilitation industry? Well, it'll be the final leg because you know you do have uh, ASTM standards for the pipe, you do now have ASTM standards for uh, the lateral and also for sectional uh, lining, and this is the last component that will, um, will end itself. I believe it's necessary because of um, what ASTM does. Is it, it gives a consistency and a method to install, to test the materials, and it gives a comfort level to professional engineers that are designing the, these systems and putting out the specifications. So if I were to ask you to summarize this new ASTM standard in a couple of sentences, what would you have to say about it? Well, to summarize th this project that we have with an ASTM, it, it is uh, trying to be a consensus. So it's important to uh, take the negatives from the ballot uh, body, which in this case in subcommittee 67, that is the trenchless group, and to take their input, to answer their concerns, and to make the document better than the, the initial ballot. Mr. Rohan, thank you very much for being with us in the LMK studio today. And we look forward to seeing the positive impact that this standard will have on trenchless manhole rehabilitation.